Hi, we're the Lalonde family, and we live in beautiful British Columbia, Canada. We are converting our 2004 Thomas bus, named Freedom 25, into our home on wheels so that we can get out, explore, adventure, and do more of the things we love. Because experiences are more sacred than materials. Hey everybody, I just wanted to jump on here and give you guys a quick update of where we're at with the bus build. Um, we haven't posted anything for the last few months, obviously because I was very pregnant. Um, and then this little one came. Uh, Mara was born on September 28th at 7 pounds 15 ounces at 8.30 p.m. And since then, we have been busy and sleep deprived, um, as anyone with children knows how that is. Um, so we've been figuring out how to be first time parents and also finish this bus build, which is a lot at the same time. Um, but we're feeling confident with being parents now and like we have the time to actually put a little bit of time towards this bus build. Um, so this week we actually started painting our tongue and groove pine um, wood that we're gonna be installing on the ceiling. And we also got all of the plywood for the walls and the floor. Um, we are gonna be doing good one side plywood on the walls, painting it white. And then we're also gonna be putting plywood on the floor and putting down, um, glue down vinyl planks for the floor. So we're really excited to get started on this process because up to now it's been mostly um, demolition and prepping the bus for the actual build. And now we're actually gonna be able to start putting things into the bus um, and creating our, our space, our home. Um, we did get the bus spray foamed in September with two and a half to three inches of spray foam. So the bus will be nice and toasty. It really helps make the bus a lot more rigid and feel a lot more secure and solid. Um, so we're excited and we're happy that we decided to do spray foam over other foams. Um, we will probably end up doing a video on why we chose spray foam over other types of insulation. We plan to be moving into the bus hopefully in the spring of 2022 um, with her and the dogs and we will be um, traveling across Canada to find a job for Rory in the helicopter industry. So we'll see how that goes over the next few months and over this winter. Rory's parents are also going to be visiting us here in a few days. They're coming from Ontario to meet their granddaughter and to help with the bus build. Rory and his dad should be getting um, quite a bit done in terms of installing the ceiling, the walls, and the floor. Because we wanted a minimum of two inches of spray foam, um, they oversprayed. And it's hard because these aren't normal shaped walls. Uh, so things like this we'll have to cut away. Um, and we did have to do a lot of cutback because they did more than two inches in most spots. Um, but it's better to have more insulation than not enough. Hopefully this will keep us nice and toasty in the winter here in Canada. Um, and most of it's good now. Like I said, some of the big spots like this will have to be cut away um, after we add more wood to the walls. This is our fresh water tank that's going to be right here under the bed. And the measurements are perfect to fit between um, here and here. Um, so this is what we used mostly to cut back the spray foam in the bus, is this grinder with a metal wire wheel. It worked the best. Rory tried a few different things like a sawzall blade um, and some other things and we found that this worked the best. If you do have any other suggestions on how to cut back spray foam easier, you can comment below. But we found that worked. Either way, it's a tedious job um, and it just takes time. Here's all the pine tongue and groove. We whitewashed it as you can see. So we should have enough um, tongue and groove here for the whole ceiling. If we have any extra, we'll probably save it for any kind of accent walls that we want to do, probably in the kitchen. This is all of the nice one side plywood that we got um, for the walls. All the walls are going to have the plywood on it and we're going to paint it white. For the whitewash, we used a interior white paint and did one part paint, two parts water, and we mixed it in this um, big black bucket here and that worked really good. And then for the clear coat on top, um, 
we did this clear coat, which turned out really nice. It didn't leave the wood looking shiny or anything because I didn't want the ceiling to look shiny. I wanted it to kind of have that natural look still on the pine. Um, so that's what we did two coats of and it turned out great. some PL premium underneath everything and then uh, staples after that so I just run about three inches worth then I'll do a row and I run another three inches worth do another row except I leave this stuff all over because it does like to drip off and it'll get all over everything so only a little bit at a time So we're coming straight up with the cabinet here, right? Yeah. Well, that's a wrap. The ceiling is done. If you like this video, please make sure to like and subscribe to help us out on YouTube. Also, if you have any questions, please feel free to ask in the comment section below, and we look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thanks. Have a good day.